What's going on guys, Matthew Monis here, and today we have to have a serious conversation about Huawei. Huawei is now the second largest smartphone manufacturer in the world, taking over Apple, but continuously they are in the news for fudging scores and causing fake photos. Just recently, the popular benchmark program called 3D Mark by the company called UL has said that Huawei has been faking their test results or enhancing their phones to perform better during these specific benchmarks. The best part about it is that Huawei admitted to doing this because when it's under certain load, it increases the performance of the phone to perform even better. Now the funny thing is that this company, UL, went back into its laboratory, renamed the program to something else, and noticed the phones performed significantly worse. That's a double lie all in the period of one month. The next thing was the whole DSLR fiasco with the Nova 3. There was a huge thing where an actor took a picture of the scene that they were shooting and the guy holding a phone, there was no phone in his hand. It was supposed to be a selfie from the camera, but it ended up being a picture from an actual production camera. Now, you know what? They never said they were gonna use the production camera or the phone itself to take the picture, and that's fine. But still, it's still a lie to us consumers who buy these products. There's phone enthusiasts, nerds out there who look at these images and to determine whether or not they're gonna buy these smartphones. In fact, Lou from Unbox Therapy did a great video about this DSLR fiasco, and I'll link that in the description down below. And listen, the list goes on. A year ago when the Mate 10 Pro came out, Huawei was caught with fake beta testers leaving all these positive reviews on Best Buy to buy their products. Now look, this is not good publicity, and to be quite honest, I don't like the fact that Huawei is doing these things in order to market their smartphones. Like, honestly, they make great products. In fact, I have the Huawei MateBook X Pro, and it's probably one of my favorite Ultrabooks of 2018. I've reviewed it, I've recommended it to tons of people because I think it's a fantastic product. I do think now that Huawei is the second biggest company in the entire world in terms of shipping smartphones, they have a responsibility to be a little bit more honest about the products they sell. You have to remember, they beat Apple without being introduced or without being in North America, well, except for Canada, but there's like five of us here in some igloo down the street. They did this without North America. I don't think they need to lie. They have the potential to be the best without going through all of these gimmicky or marketing ploys that they're playing right now. They have great smartphones. I've been using the Huawei P20 Pro for the past few months, and I think it's a great product. Triple cameras, some of the best that's on the market. They don't need to do these things in order to get their names on the map. Now you can also think of this as conspiracy theory. Maybe they're purposely doing this to get more marketing because there's still a lot of people in North America, especially the United States, that have never heard of Huawei. Some say that bad PR is still good PR, but quite frankly, I still think they have this need to be honest with consumers because, let's face it, they're under hot water with the US government. They're not allowing their smartphones into the country. And do you think things like this, lying about pictures from a Nova 3 phone, lying about benchmarks, posting fake reviews, is gonna help their situation in getting to the United States? I think not. I think Huawei, Samsung, Apple have all huge responsibilities to be honest with us as the consumer. Now Huawei, I don't hate you. I love your products. I just think you need to be a little bit more honest. I'm curious to what you guys think about the situation with Huawei in the comments below. Do you think they need to be this sketchy? Because I personally don't, and I think the products, or most of them, speak for themselves. Now if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.